Hey, Gary Dawn back. And we got on the phone in the uh, cassette case tripod. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, okay, I got it to where I'm showing the important part of the screen. If I can get up here to the keyboard. Reboot. I'm going to say now just in case it needs now on there. What did it say? Text is really tiny. I actually kind of need to be up this close to read it, I think. Oh, no, I don't. Back here is better for me. I'm far sighted. Even, even with my spy glasses on. What happened? Maybe I just need to hit reboot. I can't find where my command was. Uh, X server connection refuse reboot now. Oh. Usage reboot, okay. It's telling you some clues as to what you want to hit. Different uh, switches, command line switches. Okay, I just want to hit reboot then. Or type reboot, that should work. Okay. My phone's kind of crooked to the the screen but I can't help it <coughs> okay I can just reach around my boxes where I have my phone setting to get to the keyboard there we go AS rock oh no it did it anyway why does it do that okay but I know what to do just gonna take this out I won't show it, try to show it this time back in a different slot there's two on the front of there control alt delete <coughs> hopefully that will work it's been working pretty well get ready this time there's some reason when you get an error <coughs> I guess even if you don't have to hard shut down lots of lots of times that worked okay so I want the VESA driver can't see that on the phone, but I'm not going to try to move it because we'll have commands coming up in a second. There we go. It's not showing the whole screen as the only thing. Maybe I can move it back far enough to. I don't think I can do it. I think my boxes will fall off the deal. I still can't see the whole thing, and I'm having to hold it. So. No, nope, it'll fall. That's why I haven't been doing that. I've forgotten. <coughs> I'm going to have to pick up the phone. And hold it. I'm going to have a heck of a time getting all these videos back together because they're on two different phones now. I have been keeping very carefully to keep each series on the same phone, but kind of getting harder to do. Okay, so... What we got here, it didn't actually hit sync with the monitor real good, but I'm not going to try to fix it since I can see what I need to see. Got downloads folder, far, far. Scanner, it didn't automatically open anything up. Our, uh, live CD web there at the bottom is uh, the web, whatever web browser it's got. Oh, it doesn't even have a menu. If it does, it's off the screen. I don't think it has one. That's uh probably just brings you back to the home directory <coughs> so before I forget I want to see what far is ah that's what I was kind of hoping it had on there that's midnight commander file browser well it's real basic look at that this is made in Russia that's Russian I mean, I'm reading everything else in English, but when I right-click to see the menus, it was in Russian. I think it's, yeah, that's Russian. I can't read it, but I, I recognize the letters. So that's where it comes from. Okay, so what I want to do, I was going to make it uh, full screen. Oh, I think I can figure it out. There we go. No. Yeah. Uh, there we go, but yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, I can't see the whole thing. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, now I'm going to have to get down here on my monitor. 
Alright, I guess I'll lay this down again. Get down here on my actual monitor. And, uh, oops, wrong thing. There. I didn't want to make it auto fit. Oops. It's really hard for me to remember. Where's the screen that I'm working with? Oh, it's in the middle. It's really hard for me to remember. I'll make that work. Fit. No, I want full. Okay. I, I wasn't trying to change that. I get stuck in that menu and I can't ever get out. Now, I want to do auto adjust. There. There it goes. That's more like it. <clears throat> oh, look, it opened up. It was just taking its time to open up. It's a uh, use scanner, full scan, custom scan, recovers files that were not treated. Okay, well, I'm glad I fiddled around for a while or I would have tried to open it up when it was already opened it up. But I'm just going to go back to my file explorer because I want to go to the recycle bin. Windows. This is not... Program file. Users root. Oh, weird. This is a this is a Linux distro, isn't it? This is showing. This looks like my live system, but it says Windows. This could be a, a Windows. It's program files, users, and this is not mine. And then it says root. What in the world? Is this some sort of hybrid live Windows system that I've never seen before? Um, oh gosh, that's crap that you can't read any of that. You, whoops. Can't get my, my top window back to make it stop being it doesn't matter but um, <clears throat> for one thing I want okay that that right there I thought would take me to the desktop but it didn't yeah, making that full screen wasn't a good idea oops I'm just gonna click on stuff until I see something that works it's half English and half half uh, Russian Okay in English and Chewbacca and <laughs> I don't know what that says <laughs> in uh, Russian. Okay, um, but for some reason, <coughs> <coughs> hang on. <sighs> now let me get a drink before I start coughing again. I um, sprayed gel coat two days in a row uh, and did a bunch of sanding on cultured mar marble on the gel coat for three three days in a row, counting the sanding and stuff. Or no, two days. Anyway, uh, I couldn't wear the mask because I couldn't breathe with it on. So now, actually, it seemed okay the same day. I was just really tired, but. I can feel the difference. I got a lot of allergies, but this is even a little bit worse. So wear your mask, I guess. Or get, I, I, I used to have a, I have a respirator, but they quit making it, quit manufacturing it, can't buy the filters anymore. And the filters are clogged up too much, can't breathe in it either. And of course the mask always fog your glasses, you can't see what you're doing. So anyway, cough, cough, cough. <coughs> What's uh, really weird is once I change directories on the right side, now I can't get back. This is not Midnight Commander. It looks like it, but it's not it. It's, I guess it is whatever that name was. Far. It's, but I just want out of it now. Well, I mean, if I could find the. 
get myself back in the same directory. Got it. It's got a little command line down there at the bottom. Could probably type CD. I'll try it. Down at the very bottom. <clears throat> Whoops. CD backslash. Remember, not forward slash. This is Windows. This is Windows. I'm going to see if that'll take me. Nope. Okay, that took me to program files. So that is C. Oh, okay. Program files, users, Windows. C. So if you go back, you get to that. If you go there, you far in an explorer and scanner. So we're in program files. Okay, well, can't go any further back than that. That's it. So it's a live Windows system of some sort, probably XP, I would imagine. Let's see. <coughs> Exit. Okay, got it out of it. <coughs> Sometimes you do need to know some commands in Windows and Linux. Okay, now. Downloads, disk D. Disk D is, okay, now there's a, at least it's not a twin panel, but at least it's a little better. And that red, I think that's Thunor, I bet you anything. That red is probably saying that, uh, that it's in, uh, root mode <coughs> which is actually what I want and there's what I want recycle bin I'm not gonna make it full screen in case it goes off the screen again and I can't close it because there's no command line in this one okay bunch of stuff in there how do you go back there we go and a bunch of stuff in there now in this thing's case I'll leave of course leave the recycle bin folder but right click and I can see the delete icon for once I, rem <laughs> I remember an icon I've used it so many years and uh, so I know what it is whether it's in English or not delete so now there won't be anything in the recycle bin and even if it went to a uh, glary quarantine glary huh? bunch of stuff in there glary utilities whoops far I don't know what that FAR stands for. Live CD, so you scanner, disk, D. Go back to D. So D is my C drive of uh, my Windows system that I'm going to scan. Good to know. What I was thinking <coughs> is I might put this. Got to put my weight on it or it'll fall down when I let go of it. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to delete all these. There's not anything I can imagine in, in this system in the Glary Recycle Bin that I would want to keep. haven't run Glary since Windows was running, but, you know, I, I suspect everything now. All Recycle Bins, everything. Let's see, yeah, AVG backup. Ingo root. Oh, that's all that stuff that I deleted. All those deal files. I'm going to leave those. I think. Because. I want to see if this program sees them as something bad. And like I was saying, you know, there should be a way to boot AVG again and put those back. And what else have we got? Boot save. That's probably another. MBR backups. Oh, okay. Those master boot record backups. Well, that's a good thing. There shouldn't be anything but just text files and a log. <coughs> Nothing in there. SDA1, boot repair log. Yeah. I don't really know what did that. Some, I don't, I don't remember, you know, what would have done that, but something did it. Dr. Webb quarantine. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, all those quarantine files. Dr. Webb really didn't work. It never finished its scan. So, I'm going to get rid of its quarantine. 
could get rid of its I don't I decided I don't really care for Dr. Webb. I'm gonna delete the whole folder this time. <coughs> Clips. That's an IDE programming application. Python. Semantic. So that's a semantic scanner that I ran. Definitions. D D E C dear. Definitions temp. I'll leave it in case I had to which one is semantic? MVRT. Okay. Norton Boot Recovery. I don't know. <coughs> I can't remember one that I ran. I didn't really even remember running one that was made by semantic, but I did. Okay. Total Commander. Okay. Logs. I suppose I could look in the logs if it'll open. Well, I won't be using this one again simply because it's so hard to use. Uh, oh, I went all the way back to the root directory of this system. D is my C drive. Boot, dev, etc, home, live, media, mount. No, this is a Linux system. Why did it have Windows folders in its... Uh, <coughs> ever, ever seen a... SDA1, AVG, okay, that took me back to, it's also SDA1, <laughs> it's got two names in here, in, in, in mount MNT, SDA1, <coughs> and then if you go to D, it's just a link anyway, so it takes, that's where it really takes you, documents and settings, yeah, I can tell it's a link by that arrow on there, then boot, those were locked files, you couldn't change them. Okay, yeah, so this is a Linux system. It really threw me off seeing that and that far app, file manager application, seeing those Windows directories that weren't mine. That's really weird. So, what is it running? Maybe it's running Windows in a virtual machine inside of Linux so that it can run their Zillia scanner. You think? <coughs> Maybe. Instead of making a scanner and rewriting the port, you know, rewriting it to run on Linux, they just said, eh, we'll run it in a virtual machine. It'd be interesting to find out. Okay. Uh, that's a, that might be a good idea, actually, for me. For, I want to build a Fedora rescue system. And I want to put, a, like, eight scanners on it. Eight that I like. <clears throat> and I can just run them one run after the other if I want to without even rebooting. <coughs> And uh, so I hadn't really, I was trying to think of ways to do that. That would probably be the only easy way to do it, is to like put XP on there. I hate to run the scanners from any kind of windows though, because, well, if it's a, but, eh, I don't know if it can be completely read only. I was going to say I could make my XP in the virtual machine. I can make the virtual machine file read only, so even if a, virus hits that system while it's live, once it's rebooted it'll be clean again. I think that's what I may do. Because there's not too many uh, virus scanners, there's, I don't think I know of eight that would run in, inside of Linux all on their own. Or le in the le well there is, but only, not that I could get and download and install on my own uh, Fedora system. You have to, you can just download these separate ISOs for whatever manufacturer, you know, Coder manufacturer, we're gonna call it company person. How they did it? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I really wanted to get, get. I wanted to see where in the heck they have these. Home live. Okay, I'm gonna go to home. Nope. Root. Where's root? There's root. Desktop. Okay. Far. I'm gonna open far again. I want to see. It's up at the top. Okay, I'll bring it down to be in my view here. Program files far. Okay, so far is an application. But oddly enough, far Internet Explorer and scanner users Windows root something in Russian Windows. 
maybe they're running Internet Explorer in here. I, I really think that they have got a virtual machine show set up in here. Far. Actually, don't get all distracted by the way that the program works, but this is diff very different and, and actually interesting. <coughs> so, seems kind of odd from what I'm used to, but it's really interesting. Okay, so, root. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how you get there other than opening far, but there it all is. Run. Damon's lock UDEV. There's no user in there. Cups. Okay. Oh. Okay. <coughs> well, sure. SRV, FTP. It's actually. Well, those folders will be there even if you're not running the server. That's for your web server. That makes you. That, well, Devane Arpador does that. I suppose if I looked around, I might see something that would tell me what actual um, operating system it is. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I can't read the menus, so it's not going to be worth a lot of trouble. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down low enough where it'll show up in my phone where my phone is sitting. <coughs> and uh, quick scan, full scan, custom scan. I want a full scan. Recover files that were not treated. Okay. It says restore point. So well, I'm not. I'm, there's anything I want to recover or anything, or I don't want to create. I don't even want to create a restore point if that's what that does. But that's what it sounds like it does. Full scan. Let me just see if I can. It's already scanning. I'll just pull it down there where I can see most of that screen. You can see everything but the top blue line. Usually whenever my rubber bands won't let the phone stay where I put it a lot of the time. Oh, there. It'll probably edge its way back. <coughs> of course, I'm fixing to quit anyway. Well, I'm hoping Z. It's on the drive Z. Trash. Yeah, trash should have been empty. Dot trash. SDA1. Oh, but SD one is my C drive. I know that because I looked around long enough to find that. But now it's calling it Z. Z drive. Wait, I thought I saw a, a deb file. What I'm thinking is, is it scanning my... Oh, yeah, if I'd have done a custom scan, I could have limit, uh, said don't scan my... Uh, I might have wished I'd have made a restore point because this may end up deleting files out of my uh, my uh, SD card. I think that's what it's scanning right now because I'm get you know they're flying by there, but I'm seeing files that have Linux file extensions and there's well there are some in my downloads folder, but this is trash. Well. Okay, maybe some Linux files are in the trash from all those previous scans. It's DA1 dot trash. But Windows doesn't make dot so and so folders. Linux does. <coughs> Not usually, anyway. <coughs> I'm going to make it big enough so I can see the whole address, even though. I'm not going to move the phone around. Um, trash files, long letters, looks like something Windows would do. Base, base, KDC. I don't know. Really don't. But I'm guessing that the reason it took a while for it, the Zillia scanner to open up is because it was updating the database, virus databases, I'm hoping. Surely it wouldn't scan without doing that. And uh, oh, maybe if I'd have looked at that screen a little more instead of paying attention to making videos, I would have saw it say updating the definitions or something. But uh, probably go back to the website and see. It would tell me <coughs> how it works. But uh, I think it's going to be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because, you know, this could be 
Said, well, it said it was slower and it was very thorough. So, um, you know, it's easily for this system, it's been, you know, some of them take three hours, three and a half hours to scan. So, I have to wait and come back when it's done. <coughs> but I'm glad I went in there and deleted all that uh, stuff. You know, there's no sense in it seeing it again and again. And heck, for all I know, some of them were going into one quarantine and then into another quarantine because I hadn't bothered to go manually delete them. Um, and the, but the ones that that were in the recycle bin, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I know I didn't manually put them in there, so I'm figuring that one of these programs did that. <coughs> but uh, I don't know why they would ever. A, you know, if you're scanning for m viruses and malware, why you'd put it in a recycle bin? That's always a gotcha. If you don't remember to empty that thing, it can hit you again as soon as you boot back into Windows. So, uh, very easily. <coughs> Many of them can, not all of them. But, uh, just let it go. Adobe Acrobat. Okay, yeah, SDA one, like I s thought I saw a while ago. That's my Windows uh, drive. But it may, since I said scan full system, I wasn't thinking, uh, started just to do custom. And I thought, well, I don't need to do that. So I, it may end up scanning my uh, my SD card too before it quits. And then it, if it deletes stuff, then uh, <laughs> I may be saying, man, why didn't I make that restore point? Because it may not let you restore without a restore point. If you see, you're seeing that, just tips me off to that idea anyway. We'll see. I mean, it's not, you know, all that stuff that's on the SD card can, I still have on my server. It's not that it'd be lost. It's just that it takes time to get it all found and put on there. And I was, <coughs> had my, getting ready for, actually some of that stuff, I was thinking it's Windows uh, scanning files like for particular problems you know and uh, I was thinking about trying to run them from Hiram's boot CD but heck my there might be something I don't think there's anything wrong with it I think the things I've been seeing are false positives and besides that Hiram's file Hiram's a customizer is just an executable file that I wouldn't be putting on my bootable disk anyway I just use the ISO <coughs> I just have to uh, Problem is, if I have to use a Windows app to do it, uh, I have to get something cleaned up before I can do that. I guess I should be going to Iron's website and seeing what other alternatives. Download a fresh ISO image, you know. <coughs> I think I did that a year or two ago when the last time it. <coughs> it seems to me that that's happened more than once. I think I usually I will. Well, of course, if it's too big, you can't upload it to those websites. Usually, about 25, 35 megabytes, the biggest file you can upload. But you can right-click on it before you download and scan it with Virus Total. When that that's actually better, 10 or 20 different scanners. So I think I'll go check into that before I forget. Well, no, I have other things I need to do. <coughs> okay, I have some things I really need to get done. So I'll do that while this is scanning. You know, I'll come back after a while. All right, just done. Bye bye.